is the second episode of my skincare series and in this episode I'm going to be talking about my trip to the dermatologist and stuff like that. So I'm just going to start this video off by describing my skin and how it was before I went to the dermatologist. So um, my skin was very oily and I did get a bunch of cystic pimples I would say. I don't I didn't have cystic acne per se but I did have cystic pimples once in a while and they hurt so bad so that's kind of one of the reasons why I went to the dermatologist. Because I did have a little cystic acne um, but not to the point where it was extremely severe where I needed to go to the dermatologist. So the first thing that I did was just google um, dermatologists in my area and I kind of looked through all the reviews of a ton of dermatologists it, and I was really excited because I found one and I did a lot of research on the person my dermatologist before I went and this was like in March and I didn't want to go in during the school year so I decided that I was gonna wait until school ended and I waited until June 21st I believe I remember June 21st because I have it in my phone um, so June 21st I went to the dermatologist I was really scared not gonna lie just because I didn't want to be prescribed crazy medications like Accutane or anything like that you won't get prescribed Accutane unless you have extremely severe acne if you don't, then you're not going to get prescribed, probably, um, especially the first time that you go. So yeah, I went, um, I told him my problem. I have a guy dermatologist, which may seem a little strange, but he's really, really cool, so it wasn't that, like, awkward if you thought that it would be, but, um, I just basically told him, like, what my issue was and how I didn't like my face having acne all over it, even though it didn't. I usually had, like, six or seven pimples at a time, which just basically told him my situation, and he prescribed me Veltin, which is just a retin-a cream that is made to just basically make your skin shed faster and then that way it kind of gets rid of the acne and brings up all the acne really really quick and I didn't really know this at first um, until after I started using it and started realizing that it would bring up all my acne but at first I was just like oh cool it's just a cream like whatever it should be fine um, so I got this and then he also told me to wash my face with a cleanser which I don't have right now because I don't use it and it's called Panoxyl and it's the 40% creamy wash. So he prescribed me that and he told me to wash my face morning and night and only use the Veltin at night. And then he also told me to use um, sunscreen because the Retin-A does make your skin shed very quickly, therefore making your skin kind of raw in a way. So he told me to use the Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer. This is actually the tinted version because I got this one. Um, as well as the plain one, but I threw out the plain one because I don't use it anymore. And this is, this actually has SPF 30 in it. He told me to use this, and I think I asked him about moisturizer, but he said not to put any on, so I didn't use it. But it was kind of nice that I had this, because this is a moisturizer for the most part, even though I don't like using SPF in my moisturizer. So that was basically my first visit to the dermatologist. I started this routine... Right when I got home, I took off my makeup and everything like that. So then about a week goes by. Actually, it was like a couple days after my skin started breaking out like crazy. Like I had crazy whiteheads all over my forehead. I never got acne on my forehead, especially like whiteheads. I just never got whiteheads in general, like legit ones. And they were like all over my face. It was so annoying. I had a bunch that was like by my mouth. And they were so painful. I had a bunch like all over here as well. And I was just so upset because it was only like, I gave it like two weeks and it was still like that. None of them went away. So I just stopped using this altogether and I went back to my Clinique Three Step Acne Solutions skincare line. Thinking that my skin would get better in like a snap of a finger. Unfortunately, my skin just stayed the same for the most part and just didn't get any worse or any better. It was just like in the middle really. So then about a month later, I went back to the dermatologist and I told him that I stopped using it just because my skin got really bad. And then he actually asked me if, if I wanted the pimples to be injected with like a cream so that they would go away quicker. And I was like, sure, let me just do it. And oh my god, so scary. <laughs> it was really scary at first, but honestly it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, it did hurt a little bit, but he just took a um, sterile needle and he filled it. I'm pretty sure he filled it with the Veltin. And he just injected every single pimple that was on my face. And um... 
I thought that like in a day they would just go away magically again. So I'm just that type of person. And they did not go away for a couple days and I was so upset. And they just kind of like scarred but they just like stayed. Like it was really strange. Like, they didn't like sink back into the skin the pimples they just kind of like stayed there they didn't get any worse which was really strange to me because i figured that they would just kind of sink back in, in into where they were and make my skin kind of smooth which they didn't and he also prescribed me an acne oral medication at that point i still was against it so i was just like oh i'm not gonna take that so when he told me that he was gonna give me an oral acne medication he told me that there were two options so there was solodin which is just a pill form of this acne, I don't really know, acne medication, and then uh, doxycycline. He told me to start with Solodin because it was the summer, and doxycycline makes your face very, very sensitive to the skin, so we figured that it would be a good thing to use the Solodin now, but the Solodin had a lot of side effects that you can get, so I was kind of like, eh, I don't really know which one to choose.